Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 7, and it's verses 8 through 10. Scripture says, For though I made you sorry with a letter, I do not repent, though I did repent, for I perceive that the same epistle hath made you sorry, though it were but for a season. Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, but that ye, ye sorrowed to repentance. For you were made sorry after a godly manner, that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of. But the sorrow of the world worketh death. Friends, just like yesterday, we're going to look at, at two things. We're going to look at... We're going to look at the topic of sorrow, but we're going to look at a topic of, as, as godly sorrow and worldly sorrow. Because all of us are going to have times of sorrow, times of being sorry, times of, of, the times of sorrow, of, 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 of sorrow. And Paul wrote this letter to the, to the Corinthians, and whether it's the book of 1 Corinthians that we have, or some scholars believe that there may have been a third or fourth letter to the book or to the church at Corinth and Paul could be referencing one of them where I'm not sure but but he says he he made you sorry with a letter and it, it that letter that Paul wrote to them moved them to action that's godly sorrow godly sorrow is when you realize that you've missed the mark when you realize that you aren't where you need to be when you realize that you are are that you are in need of a savior. That's godly sorrow. That's a good kind of sorrow because it's going to help us to go and to, to get things right with the Lord and get where we need to be. Paul says in verse 10, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of. It's the right kind of salvation. It's godly sorrow. It's the sorrow that leads to the proper to the proper forgiveness, to the proper repentance. Think of the first time, well, maybe I didn't word it right. Think of the time that you gave your heart to the Lord, that you gave your life to the Lord. You heard the message, you were stirred by the message of the preacher or the evangelist or the teacher, whoever. And you had a sorrow in your heart because you realized your need of a savior, you realize that you're a sinner, you realize that you needed Jesus. And that sorrow turned to joy at that moment you received him and realized that you are forgiven for all time. That's that's repentance that you don't have to repent of. That's repentance that's the right thing. But then he says here in verse 10, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. The sorrow of the world. I've seen people do do terrible acts. I've heard, I've read about people that's done terrible acts of violence to other people, and they didn't repent of it, and they didn't express sorrow for it. That brings death. Worldly sorrow brings death. The sorrow that's not leading you to repentance brings death. A spiritual death and a physical death. So friends, where are you at today? Have you experienced that godly sorrow that maybe you aren't where you need to be? Maybe you've backslid on the Lord. Maybe maybe with this pandemic and so many churches are closed and so many of us aren't aren't attending a church because we can't. Because it's not open. And maybe you've backslid. You've got away from the Lord. 
and you feel him tugging you, repent, get made right. Let that godly sorrow take over. So that way you can get things made right with God and turn your sorrow into joy. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.